Welcome back to 5014 Africa, the channel that helps you travel Africa. I'm Nick from Namibia and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a day trip to a wet sausage flay. Thank you to the Patreons that make 5410 Africa possible. If you'd like to become part of the family, follow the link in the description below. Go to patreon.com forward slash 5410 Africa. You can join for as little as five US dollars per month. Hello everyone, I'm camping at the Gondwana Namab Desert Lodge campsite about 50 kilometers north of Sesrim. For those of you that don't know, Sesrim is where you access sources flay from and that is where I'm heading tomorrow morning. The biggest disadvantage of staying outside uh, in WR Sesrim is that you won't be able to access either the dunes or dead flay at sunrise. The reason is simple, they've got a big gate that they lock at sunset and they only unlock it the next morning at sunrise. It doesn't matter how early you arrive, you will sit and wait in front of that gate until sunrise. <laughs> they told me the gate will open at 6, so I'll probably get up at 5, leave at 5.30 and hopefully be there around that time. The first 30 kilometers will be gravel road and after the turn off the final 20 kilometers will be a very beautiful and random tar road which takes you all the way to Sesrim. And this is the tar road that will take you all the way to Sosa's Flay. First Sesrim, as you see the sign says, 12 kilometers and then uh, Sosa's Flay is another 73. Doesn't matter which direction you come from, whether it's that side <laughs> or that side, <laughs> you will end up on this tar road. It took me about 30 minutes from Namib Desert Lodge to get here. This is the session gate which if you arrive to early in the morning will be locked. You only unlock it at sunrise. All you do here is you'll stop, they'll check your nationality, check your numbers, they'll give you a little slip and you'll go and pay your park fees at the NWR reception. Another petrol station behind there, that's the other petrol station, they've got a campsite there as well, a little shop, bakery. That's the mountain, on the other side is the canyon as well as the Sources Dune Lodge. NWR campsite has another campsite behind, uh, I think it's, I'm not sure what it's called but it's operated by San Carlos. That's the setup at the gate. We're now going to pay our park fees. It's a very easy drive in. I mean, the reception is right there. It's, uh, it's not even 50 meters. Like I said, there's the petrol station. Behind the mountain is the Sausage Dune Lodge and the canyon. To go to Sausage Flay, you'll just carry on straight to this road. That's it, park fees paid. They don't really like you filming inside, so I'm doing it outside. <laughs> Took less than two minutes. Remember, park fees depends on your nationality. It's Namibian, SADC, and international. Park fees are paid per person per day. You also pay per vehicle per day, and there's a conservation fee as well. I'll put the park fees on the screen right next to me somewhere for a few seconds. Also, I'll link in the description below. This is the road that leads you to Sosas Flay, very clearly marked. That's Star Road all the way, except for the last very interesting and fun five kilometers, which is 4x4 only. This is the second gate, the one that uh, allows you access to Sosas Flay. There's no one here. <laughs> So this is the advantage if you're staying inside, as you can simply drive in and out, usually before sunrise and then after sunset. Unfortunately for me, I can only enter after sunrise this morning. They do give you a little map with all the points of interest and this is the first one. This is Elam Dune, which is a few hundred meters away from the main, from the control gate and that's the dune down there. People like to use this for sunset because it's so close to the gate. You can watch sunset, get in your car and still be out before they lock the main gate. And this is Elam Dune up close and personal. Doesn't look like much. This is actually the first false horizon. So once you go for that, you'll find it out. I've climbed it for sunset. It's, all of these dunes look easy to climb. Don't underestimate the climb up a dune. <laughs> what I like about Elam is they've got all these trees around. And usually you'll find Gemsbok just relaxing under them throughout the day. They just love the shade. And now I'm halfway between Elam Dune and Dune 45. This is the exact spot where I made my first video and I posted it about almost exactly a year ago. This is where it started. It's kind of nostalgic being here. 
It's also a crazy beautiful spot. Those trees actually when it's not raining is dead so you can walk in there and take beautiful pictures especially early in the morning because the sun will come from the front. Yes you are allowed to get out and walk around and saucers play anywhere in the park. It's all right, they don't mind. What you're not allowed to do is drive around like an idiot. Please stay on the roads. You're not allowed to four by four off-road wherever you want. There's dedicated, that's why they built a beautiful tar road. Stay on it. <laughs> Animals, you can expect lots of oryx, lots of springbok, lots of ostriches. So it's an amazingly beautiful uh, drive in on June 45. I mean, how is this for an approach road? This is Dune 45, called Dune 45 because it's 45 kilometers from the control gate. Preferred as a sunrise spot just because it's so close to the gate. What I can tell you is when it's overcast, don't bother coming because you're going to go climb all the way up and you're not even going to see the sun. That's just a general tip. When it's overcast, rather just go straight to dead flat. now arrived at the 4x2 car park and it's called a 4x2 car park because if you've got a 4x2 you have to park it here <laughs> from here it's all 4x4 and no other vehicles are allowed you can make use of the NWR shuttle which currently is 118 million dollars both ways so I'll just pick you up drop you off when you're done that side you just sit and wait and they'll come around there's no schedule they just drive up and down obviously this is where it gets exciting because here you get to deflate tires engage 4x4 and drive in the actual Namib desert sand <laughs> It's only about 5Ks. <laughs> and I've arrived at the 4x4 park, or the Dade Flay car park. The wind is a bit nippy, hopefully it doesn't affect the sound too much. But yeah, from here you take the hike across the Dead Flay. And this is actually not Saucer's Flay, this is a Dead Flay car park. Saucer's Flay is another couple of hundred meters down the road. We're gonna go there now. I'm not gonna go to Dead Flay now. I'm gonna do a separate video, short little eight, 10 minute video where I literally from here hike to Dead Flay. So all you do is you follow the road down. See, there's the road this way. That's, there's two different roads. Can't really get lost. It sort of makes a little loop. And this is Saucer's Flay, literally, literally like 30 seconds later. I just had to concentrate on that bit of thick sand. And in the distance, I can see some... Wait, wait, let me just... Whoa! <laughs> distance, I can see some water. They've got some they've got toilets here, picnic spots, tables, shade trees. You can just pick a tree wherever you want and just uh, have an awesome picnic. This is why I travel, to get the opportunity to see things like this. This is a wet sauces flay, which doesn't happen that often. I'm pretty lucky, fortunate. It was also kind of cool because this is probably the last time I'll see sauces flay for the next 10 years as I head into Africa. But what an amazing way to say goodbye. And this will be your final and ultimate stop when coming to sauces flay, dead flay. Well, this is dead flay. This is a day trip out to dead flay. I'm not going to say too much. I'll show you a few shots, show you around. Obviously, you need to watch the video hiking from uh, the car park to here. That will give you lots of more information. I also have another video on the source display. That has got all the information. Additionally, I'll put all our information in the description. This is what happens when you do a day trip to source display, dead flay. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Please like, comment, subscribe. Please uh, consider joining my Patreon for only five US dollars a month. As always, from the beautiful dead flay. I'm Nick from Namibia and you'll be watching 5410 Africa.